Alright, so this video is going to be a follow-up to an article I just posted on one-factor and two-factor uh, theories in strength training. So, here, the one-factor theory, it's called the one-factor theory because it's based, it's completely based off of one factor, and that factor is recovery and timing of the next stimulus we apply. By that I mean, when we apply a stimulus, we break down, and from there we build up and our body wants to adapt to that stimulus, it wants to be more prepared for that stimulus next time it comes, so it's going to super compensate. And then eventually, if we don't apply that same stimulus, we're going to go back to homeostasis or the regular, our baseline of strength. So, where the one factor comes in is right here, and it's all about this timing. So, what we want to do is we want to time up our next stimulus to be in this super compensation kind of uh, phase, super compensation phase. If we don't, we see other effects. But this is um, this has been a method used for a number of years, um, but it might not be the most effective way, just because it's hard to read when we're fully recovered, when we're super compensated. So I want to show a few examples here. So here are the scenarios that can happen. When we reapply the stimulus too early, we see this, we see a breakdown and then the recovery, but we don't get to the point where there's super compensation. So we're then breaking back down again and going up and then don't wait for super compensation. So we're constantly, we're actually getting weaker. We're not recovering our bodies completely. Um, now, the next scenario is reapplying a stimulus too late. So what happens to that is same thing, up, all right. Applying it too late would be after the supercompensation phase. So you would actually be allowing your body to get stronger, but then waiting for that supercompensation to end and you go back to your baseline. So what would actually happen here is you wouldn't get stronger, but you wouldn't get weaker, you just stay the same. And this is what, with correct timing in your workouts, this is what would happen. Break down, go up, supercompensation. All right, you see now, that the breakdown is a little bit shorter because we applied the stimulus up here and again up here applied at the right time and you continue to get stronger. So that's just an explanation of the supercompensation theory. Um, in another video I'm going to explain the two-factor theory, um, also, also known as the fitness fatigue theory. So check that out.